Welcome to Howley Hall Golf Club here in Leeds. I'm Ryan Rastall, PGA professional here at the club, and today we're taking a look at the brand new Z Star Diamond Golf Ball from Strixon. So following the success of the Z-Star and Z-Star XV golf balls that Strixon already have in their lineup, Z-Star Diamond has come out with a bit of a mix of both. So it's saying that the distance is going to be fantastic, but also the spin around the greens and those approach shots has been improved a little bit. And certainly when I've used a Z-Star golf ball before and, and XV, I found the XV quite firm and clicky and a bit you know it sounds very hard when you hit it and the z star almost too soft when i've used that as well so personally this golf ball should tick a lot of boxes for me so i'm really looking forward to testing it now in terms of the technology it's a three-piece construction it's got the fast layer core which we saw in xv but also slightly thicker in terms of the cover that it's got on here. And that's really to try and improve the spin both around the greens and also for your pitch shots in there as well. It will spin a little bit more with irons too. Now, the CERM technology that we've seen in the balls when they were released last year in both Z-Star and XV is also present in here. And what that is, is a polymer on the cover of the golf ball, which basically bonds the cover together slightly differently so that when we hit it with a wedge or something pretty sharp grooves wise, it's gonna mean that the, the, the cover basically goes into the grooves a little bit better. So we impart a bit more spin and get a bit more control on it. And certainly that technology has been very, very popular in the golf balls over the last year or so. The spin skin technology, again, helping to keep that spin pretty uniform throughout the set as well. So really interesting to test. Now, really large core that we can see in there. It's a few different materials. So if we look closely, we've got this kind of gold kind of speckles in, in there as well as the blue main bit of the core. And then we've also got the thicker uh, cover that I was just talking about. And it, it's quite noticeably thicker than the other golf balls when we've cut them in half as well. But it's certainly going to be a golf ball that I'm looking forward to test because it should suit me quite well. And it's a ball that's really burst onto the scene because Brooks Kepka has been using it straight away when he signed for Srixen. So I'm looking forward to getting out on the course, hitting some shots with it and telling you exactly what I think when I do so. <laughs> So as you've seen, we've had a chance to hit shots with the uh, Z-Star Diamond golf ball all the way around the golf course here at Howley. So I've tried it with irons, wedges, put it a bit with it as well. And I must say, I much prefer it to either of the two Z-Star models out there at the moment. And that's purely my personal preference. I think those of you that want that softer feeling golf ball, Z-Star is going to be really good for that and that firmer, clickier feel XV is there as well. But this kind of sits there in the middle retails at exactly the same price but like I say I think everything I want a golf ball to do which is go a decent distance off the tee and spin really nicely with my short irons and chips around the greens this absolutely delivers and certainly to put with I think it sounds slightly better than the XV which I've used before and I really like the performance of XV but it was quite clicky when I chipped and putted with it and this doesn't do that really so it sounds a little bit better personally i think but there'll be those of you out there that are purists with the uh, srix and xv and won't change your golf ball and that's fine it might do everything you want it to do and the same with z star but z star diamond i think really is the best of both worlds and that's certainly what it's been designed to do so hopefully hopefully you've enjoyed that hopefully it's a ball that you're going to go out and try because Strixon is right up there with the performance the quality and everything and you'll see that on tour you know you don't get players like Brooks Kepka shifting golf ball willy-nilly they'll want to test this they'll want to make sure it works for them and certainly this golf ball absolutely does so don't just take my word for it go and test it go and try it get fitted for it because yes you can do golf ball fittings and it's very important that you make sure that you have a golf ball that does everything that you want it to do in your game but test it out on the course with your chipping and your putting but also with your long game as well so if you've got any comments please drop them in the comments section below I'd be more than happy to answer them but it's definitely a golf ball you should be trying this year